Well, Coach Denny, thank you very much. It was a hard game tonight, hard for our game. You have a, a senior-led team, and there was, um, this unofficially, about 14 lead changes in the second half in overtime. How do you attribute you guys uh, staying focused uh, with these seniors? Uh, we've been really working on that in practice, like um, not only staying focused, but staying in the moment. And, um, you know, we, we've had some, a lot of close games this year, this one included. And uh, in practice, we've been really just focusing on finishing quarters and finishing halves and, and finishing possessions. And um, our, I think our, our theme out of the locker room today was don't blink first, one of those kind of things. And and we just kept battling back. We just kept finding good shots and, and making shots and, and, and give Washington credit. They did the same thing. Thank you. Uh, even though that you guys took the loss, what would you say that um, was your mindset coming into the game? Our mindset is we need to, to, to win. We want to win. Um, uh, our mindset, I hope, has not changed. Uh, it's been frustrating at times, but I think for the most part, these guys still believe that, that we, we can start winning some ball games. Uh, I, I like the way that we played tonight for the most part. Uh, we just run into a, a good Washington Washington team tonight and shot the ball well. Um, you know, uh, it, it, the mindset's not going to change. I, these seniors, uh, they work too hard and they've come too far to to to, to have any other way. They're not going to quit. Last question, Coach. Uh, just want to talk about uh, not moving past this game, but as you as you play a tough one tonight, how do you focus on what you have for the rest of the season, getting ready for Substate? Uh, stay together. Stay together, you know. You know, we ain't gonna get to substate if if our kids uh, splinter, if they if they separate. The, um, it's it's the games like this we were talking about it a little bit. It's the games like this afterwards, the tough losses, where you might tend to 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 steer away from one another. But we'll, we'll stay together. We'll stay together. That's the only way that we're gonna get this done. And uh, I have faith in them, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that they'll get it done. Thank you very much, Coach. We appreciate yep. it. Say who you are. Spider-Man. First of all, we appreciate you guys coming for today. I know it was a tough loss. Uh, you fought a very good game. Um, my, my first question is to uh, to uh, Jalen. Jalen, um, you got into some foul trouble. Talk a little bit about if you think that had anything to do with, because you guys were kind of on a roll. You had the lead in the first half, but then when the foul trouble kind of came, it kind of slowed down. You didn't really have the lead as much in the second half. You think that played anything in today's game? Um, not at all. I mean, I just got to be a better defender. I mean, I can move my feet, but you know they have some tough guards who could get to their spots and get to the lane. Um, that's just me being a poor defender, and I got to be better for my team next time on moving my feet and staying out of foul trouble. Uh, this question is really to both y'all, but uh, as seniors in your last year in high school basketball, what would you say your next step is? What our next step is? Yeah. I, I think our, it's like a problem for us throughout the year. We got to learn how to finish the game in the fourth quarter. You know, we got to really come together in that fourth quarter and just learn how to finish strong and start winning ball games so we can, like Coach said, make sub state. I mean, what Logan said, we just gotta, yeah, we just gotta learn how to execute in the fourth, run our sets properly, knock down open shots. You know what I'm saying, play good defense, and just let the game come to us and not rush anything. I, I got a question for you, Logan. Um, you got off to a very good start um, in, the, in the first half, um, and then it kind of slowed down. Uh, but you guys play a, a lot like a team. Um, what do you attest the team is? Because you guys really stuck together. It was some stretches there where you could have come unglued, but you didn't. You, like, really stuck together. What do you attribute that to? I mean, I just – I mean, I – it comes all down to good coaching. You know, our coaches put us in good positions. We work on those kind of situations in practice, so they really do a good job preparing us for those kind of situations coming down the court. Okay. Last question. This is for both of you. As you move forward, I know we heard Coach Denny say that he wants to make sure you guys stick together, don't splinter. But as you move forward from after today, a tough game, what is what will be you guys' focus as the leaders of how to keep you together moving towards sub-state play? Um, I really just 
I really think we just need to stay together. Um, there are times when individually we got to be better, but we got to be better as a team. Um, like tonight, with me in foul trouble, missed a couple shots, could have gotten the ball moving more. Um, I kind of take that on me. Uh, but as a team, you know, we just got to stick together, do what we know how to do best, move the ball, uh, get some touches, and uh, execute in the fourth. I like the same thing. You know, we say it all the time, stay together. But there's sometimes, I don't know if you can tell, we can wear our emotions on our sleeves. We just need to learn how to stay composed and not mentally check out of a game. Just keep pushing forward. And no, no matter what kind of adversity you got to deal with, you just got to keep playing. Thank you, guys. Uh, appreciate you coming. Thanks for the support. And good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. All right, Coach, appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Um, congratulations, a great hard-fought win tonight. Uh, my first question is, around two minutes and 30 seconds stretch in the first quarter, we noticed that you had four sophomores and one freshman on the floor playing for a nice stretch. Um, tell me about that and, and your reason for putting it, because a lot of times you don't see that. Yeah, I would say at this point in the year, we're really just looking at the players as what – they can bring to the floor. So I try to have a senior ball handler on the floor when I can, but, you know, I trust these young guys now to, to handle the load and what we're asking them to do, especially defensively. And this is one of those games where you can really develop some guys. So they really got in, showed what they could do, and uh, they held their own during that stretch. And I think that's going to be big for them here coming down the last month of the season. <clears throat> I've seen uh, that you had some points, like they were going up and down. In the fourth quarter, what was your thoughts uh, on the team? So just one possession at a time. We talk about it a lot. I had to say, if you're on defense, just get one stop at a time. Offensively, get one good shot at a time. So we're really just trying to have it broken down to that. So sometimes, I mean, you get a couple of those threes going up. You don't know if they're going to go in or not. You're just thinking of either way, okay, if he makes this, we're going to get up and do this. Miss this, we're going to get back and do that. It's just one possession at a time. Coach, in the second half, unofficially, there's about um, 14 lead changes in the second half, including overtime. How do you attest that the guy is sticking together? Because it's, in games like this, it's hard to lose the focus. How do you attest that that focus stayed and then you uh, fight it out for the win? Yeah, that's just a statement about the guys and how competitive they are and how resilient. I say we've had a, a tough week. We've played some really, really good teams, and we came through it on the other side still together. And so I think that after that, we sort of have a toughness about us that they kind of can stare that down and not really shy away from it. So I thought they really stepped up to the challenge. And, I mean, that's why I coach the games that are back and forth like that. Like, that's – I've still got goosebumps thinking about it. Okay. Last question. As you move to us for the rest of the season and toward uh, sub-state play, what will be the focus uh, taken from today and moving? It'll still be, and the guys will know what I'm talking about, sharing the ball on offense, really trusting your teammates, and then the way that we play defense in terms of help and rebounding. So those will be things that we stress every single day, and that will decide if we make it on past the first round of Substate or if we're going out in that first round. I think that will be the key for us. Thank you, Coach. We appreciate it, and good game. All right, thank you. Appreciate you. Good job, Coach. First, I got to ask, Davis, you're a freshman, mm -hmm. all right? And I'm trying to remember me get it. It, it was, man, you, you you hit six threes tonight, ended up with 25 points. You know, on a team that's got seniors back and forth, tell me, how does it, how do you play as a freshman and knock down some big shots, especially the one that tied the game eventually ended up with the, the lead to win? Well, it's all about the mental state, um, so. I just take my time, take some a couple deep breaths, and I just let the game leave. That's all it is. Uh, Trayvon, is it Trayvon? Yeah. Yeah, as a senior, and you know, coming into your last year in sports, how was it like leading the game? It was. It was good. You know, I'm just trying to get them prepared for like what's coming up, and you know, he a freshman. And we got the best freshman in the, in the city right now. 
So like, I just, I just want to prepare them for what's coming next year and the years after that. Trayvon, for you, I, you had a lot of spectacular plays. You ended with 20 points. But I think the, the take me through a uh, play. Uh, it's in the third quarter where you get two blocks in like 30 seconds. You block one at the rim, then you also end up blocking a jump shot, and it ends up with uh, being a layup on the other end for you after that. Take me through the mindset you have for that. It's it, it been a long week, the first two games we had. So, uh I just wanted to come out and compete. Everybody came out here to watch us play and everything. So, and I had, I think I had already had took a bad shot before that. So I had to make up for, for the bad shot I had. So, yeah. Let's see, two more questions and we'll let you guys go. Uh, one for you, uh, Xavius, right? Okay. Uh, one for you. Talk about um, – as you guys, it's the time you get into these type of games, and these type of games going back and forth with so many lead changes. I mean, it's easy for players to start bickering back and forth and, and just kind of spinning around from each other. Talk about, because you guys didn't. You guys really fought, even with different plays, different shots. You guys stay together. Talk about the, the how do you guys do that. What what keeps you guys together? Well, you know, after a couple bad plays and we go in the huddle, we talk about what we need to do better. And we all try to we all try to talk it out and come out and play better as a team. And we just I just try to visualize visualize the game and what I could do better and what I could do next. And I just talk to my team about it. Last question for you, Trayvon. As you move toward finishing up league play, what what's the focus for you guys and for you? To um, work offense better, talk more on defense. Because everybody know defense when games, offense going to come. So I just want everybody to work more on defense and talk more and run it through our plays more and sharing the ball, finding better shots and moving. So I, I, I want that to lead into us getting to league and going to state. Well, thank you. Great win tonight, fellas, and we appreciate you. Thank you. Good job, fellas. Very good job.